Hi everybody, welcome to the truth that never sleeps here on the internet. Please, please subscribe as I expose the satanic new world order system like nobody else does on the world wide web where I break things down and I connect the dots and I try to keep it 100% for y'all. And today I'm broadcasting this episode of the truth that never sleeps on my second channel, in the know news and reviews that's what this video is going to be about i'm going to cover the you know the previous week and some of the headlines that are happening and putting it all together to warn you guys how they are manipulating the system behind the scenes also you can like my page if you're on facebook on beyond awake i post new memes on there all the time and folks check this one out you see we are running for the cure. You see all these people for autism, for cancers, they do the jugs, the fundraisers, but they're doing all this instead of fighting against the cause. And what are those causes? Uh, we are bombarded with cancers and, and autism and all these things because they are jacking up our food with the genetically modified organisms, the GMOs. Our water is poisoned. Let's be honest with the fluoride, which calcifies the pineal gland. Um, mercury poisons in those vaccinations. Of course, there's chemtrails, which many people don't want to believe that they're spraying us like roaches on a day-to-day -day basis. Just look up geoengineering. You'll see how real this stuff is. Of course, they're calling it now solar shielding because of the global warming, which is a big farce, a big uh, fraud. Okay, let's be honest. They are manipulating the weather. Uh, there are the Gwen Towers, which are the cell phone towers that emit low frequencies that affect each and every one of us folks again they turn those things up at certain vibrations they crank the energy up and they can affect the people around that area that is not a that's not a joke that's not a game um i've experienced it on basically now almost on a day-to-day -day basis my ears will start ringing i feel tired all part of the system and it's just going to get worse folks now we're getting into now the 5g's where they're just going to put these mini antennas on top of your electrical poles and it's going to be everywhere okay this is what they're headed towards again this is mind control manipulation so this is the world we live in instead of running for these cures and giving money to these organizations which again they have the cures for cancers they're creating the autism and all these diseases let's start helping people wake up and again the more people you help the more people pray we can make a difference that way doing all this other junk ain't gonna do jack snap it's all part of the agenda when you do those things again that's why it's so important to please uh, share these videos uh, of course in the no news and of course the truth never sleeps which i will be back very soon now let's get into some head news of course i covered the wwe um vince mcmahon the occultist the satanist he's going to now make a new football league called the xfl and here you see the the multiple x's now when we look into the occult numerology the x is always been a representation of six so multiple x's are the mark of the b666 and so he's showing his alliances here you see the multiple x's here's an x here's an x right this is 666 also here notice how the x is red white and blue that doesn't mean the american flag folks this means an x here so that's a six the white part is a six and the blue part is a six the mark of the beast 666 this man is one of the wickedest in the world of course uh vince mcmahon has failed before uh with this uh xfl he's tried doing it in the early 2000s of course they pulled out now with the nfl having all these problems people are pissed off because people are knee kneeing you know the players are kneeing to the uh you know the national anthem people want to just say hey man forget this you know we're not going to watch this so vince mcmahon took out a hundred million dollars out of his shares to reboot this satanic organization again this guy is as wicked as they come and the people that are employed with them again have to go through and do satanic rituals and they're a bunch of manipulators and monsters 
Now let's get into the next story here. And a lot of people are talking about this, of course. I've covered many of the WWE. I exposed the WWE. I thought I would give my two cents on Enzo Amore, which is a WWE wrestler. Now when you break down the name, you see Vince McMahon, this demonically possessed wicked man, he creates all the names for his wrestlers. His top guy that he's pushing right now is called Roman Reigns. The Roman Empire reigns, okay? It's all subliminal. When we look at this guy's name, this fool's name here, right? Enzo Amore. Enzo, the end. Amore. Amore in Spanish. Amor. Okay, love. So, end, you end. The end, you love it. End, the love. You love the end. The uh, occult satanic system which this man promotes on a day-to-day basis. Now he's going to football. So that it is, that's what this means, the end you love, okay? So this guy, okay, I think his real name is Eric Arnden or whatever the heck his name is here, okay? Um, he basically, well, let me read the stories for you, okay? This girl here, Philomena is her name, And uh, she went to a party and actually somebody tweeted, one of her friends tweeted or whatever, hey, come down to this party, suck a you know what, okay, I don't know, that was part of the the tweet and she said, okay, I'll go to this party or whatever. And well, let's read it here. I said no countless times. Woman claims top wrestler Enzo Amore, and, and he loves the end, right, piled her with drugs and raped her in Phoenix hotel room leading the WWE to fire him. You see, Enzo Amore has been fired by the WWE after a woman claims he raped her. The alleged rape reportedly took place in the the Clarendon Hotel in Phoenix. Allegations were made on Twitter Monday night by uh, Philomena Sheehan. Phoenix police are currently investigating the allegations against him. And so basically, um, supposedly they were having the party. She got the tweet. She went there and uh, then she started, re- you know, writing this stuff here. It goes, okay, it's been long enough. I have been so scared to share this. I was raped mid-October by the WWE Enzo Amore, also known as Eric. And Tyler Grusu and Too Poor let it happen As accomplices, I was in a mental hospital for 45 days after it. They are not good people. And so here you see it. Um, You know, she's upset. She said, you set up a girl to get raped. All this stuff, okay? And folks, do I believe this woman? No, I don't. Um, Let me give you the information that I have acquired. Now, of course, she goes on TMZ. And I study human mannerisms and stuff like that. So, you know, I've done courses or I've studied courses done by the CIA, the FBI. I've studied the MK Ultra programming, how they can do it. Fritz Springmeier has an amazing book, right? So I've studied all this and, you know, looking at news articles and news reporters and, you know, press conferences. I can tell when, you know, pretty much when someone's lying because we all have body language, okay? Okay. When I seen this girl, number one, right off the rip, her body language was completely, in my opinion, she was lying, 100%. Again, a rape victim, someone that said that they were at a, uh, you know, they were so raped or whatever. No remorse, no crying, just blind, boom, boom, boom. Okay, and you go, Sonny, everybody reacts different. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well... When we go and we look at her, well, let's get into the five things we need to know of this woman here, just to to make it even sink in more. You know, Philomena is also accused, uh, you know, ag- you know, accusing fashion gurus Tyler and Too Poor for being involved. Remember, I said that she went on TMZ again. If you're raped. Why are you coming out like this? But again, this is all part of the system Me Too movement, all part of the agenda. So anyway, she goes on. This is a woman that has in the past faked a pregnancy. Okay, there you go. Uh, Philomena says she's been uh, sober since March 2017. So this is a woman that has went through drug problems, uh, mental issues, uh, rehab. She's been homeless, all this stuff, okay? 
there she is doing that. Philomena is an aspiring actress, actor, actress, and a singer. So she's in the entertainment industry, of course, folks. And of course, uh, you know, you have now her hooking up with this guy. And, uh, you know, supposedly, uh, again, uh, you know, basically she was sitting on the couch. Well, let me read you the story here one more time here. The woman who claims WWE, uh, you know, Amore uh, raped her has spoken out about the allegations. And basically what she, she said was, uh, you know, hey, she went to this party. Uh, she got drugged up. He said... You know, Enzo Amore, and I know this is explicit, you know, language, but he goes, hey, man, he started jumping on. She's like, hey, I want to get to know you and stuff like that. And he was like, you know what? I'm, I'm, I got a million followers. You should be begging me for this, blah, blah, blah. And next thing you know, you know, he, he picks her up, she says, he throws her on the bed and, you know, that's where he rapes her. She hit her head. That's what she also said. She said she couldn't remember a lot of what happened that night, but in the TMZ, she's saying the complete story. Hey, you know, he threw me on the bed. He, he took off my thing. He hit me in my head. I was blacking out and all this stuff. And you know, it, it's a huge thing. So what does WWE do? Of course, they suspend them, and then they fire them. Now, folks, there is 100% evidence that this woman is lying. This is her homosexual friend. I am, uh, I'm Sam Cook. He actually had some kind of digital messages or, you know, whatever that they were messaging each other. And she wrote, Okay, believe it or not, it happened. I'm laying in bed next to a famous wrestler. So this is a woman that has went on TMZ that have put the allegations. Again, remember that she herself faked a pregnancy. She also said she was raped two times before that or raped before that. All this crazy stuff, okay? And she was also a cam girl selling her nude photos and body shots. When we look at her mannerisms, when we look at how people act, she has none of the, you know, things. She's just, boom, looking for whatever, okay? And then with this guy, I am Sam Cook here, he actually basically ousted her out. He, he had her messages the night that it happened, and, uh, you know, it is what it is. She even said she, she did them. She effed him, okay? Didn't get one, okay? It's dark here, whatever. So he has all the messages on that night that happened. And he says, you know, you know, she, she woke up the next day. Believe it or not, it happened. I'm laying with the wrestler. Let me, let me, let you listen to this audio. Believe it or not, bitch, it happened. And I'm laying in bed next to a famous wrestler. Believe it or not, bitch, I'm laying so, back. So there, there you have it, folks. I mean, there it is. It happened. Aft. Okay, here you're saying. She's saying. She's emailing her friend. It happened. I aft. I woke up by a famous wrestler. And her friend is basically saying, hey, you don't know about this girl. She's messed up. She has problems. On that night, uh, she she basically somebody tweeted, "Hey, who wants to ask? You know, suck. You know what? Come down to this party." She went down there, met these people or whatever. Maybe some of them were her friends or whatever. Enzo Amore and them did drugs. He probably did do certain things. He probably did act that way. Maybe she didn't want to so much. Maybe she was kind of drugged. I'm not not totally saying that she wasn't a hundred percent in her mind. But then she's bragging about it to this guy in these DMs, these digital messages. Okay, and he even, I'm sorry about the bad language, but there it is. She's telling him she, she did him, okay? All there, all there. And the reason why now she's probably saying this was because her father or something had to pick her up. She had to go to a rehab and, uh, you know, she told her dad she was raped or something. And then I believe that's how all this started. And now, you know, now um, Enzo Amore, again, is getting, you know, he, he basically got fired. Uh, you know, the guy's a fool. You know, I, again, any man that, you know, 
that just looks like that, that it, it sells out to the Luciferian WWE, what can you do? He was also warned. Many people were warning him of his lifestyle. Okay, this is a man too that had a beautiful girlfriend that was a, a, a female wrestler. Um, right over here, let me show you the picture of her. This is his girlfriend. And at that time, when they broke up, me knowing that I'm single and nobody is cheating on me. So they did do it, okay? This is nothing, this isn't a, a you know, she made this story up, okay? They found out, the girlfriend broke up. You see the Texas here, I'm laying next to a, a, a wrestler, I effed him, okay? And next thing you know now, Enzo Amore's in trouble because of this, basically the satanic girl here. Again, this is a woman in these videos of this guy, I'm Sam Cook, she's uh, urinating in camera in a, um, in a public place, in a, a park. Okay, completely messed up. She's completely demonic. Looking at her name, here's her uh, YouTube, Miss Gwenich Witch, or Gucci Witch, I'm sorry, Miss Gucci Witch, just looking at her, okay? Then she even admits to doing satanic crap. Here, listen closely to what she says when she shows her tattoo. Check this out. Listen. It's the pitchfork. You know, I did some Satan shit with Sam the other day, so I decided to get Don't plug me. There you go. I did some Satan stuff. I did the pitchfork, okay? And then she also has a, a, a Bible scripture on her other arm, and she's she hates it. Again, this woman's demonic. She starts to look at, look at the eyes, folks. Again, Enzo Amore... I mean, this is what he chose. He, his girlfriend dumped him. Now he's in trouble. You see, this is what you get when you cheat, when you try to be cool. Me. <laughs> you know, this is what you get, you know. It, it's just disgusting. But look at how she trashes Bible verses, folks. Again, this woman's wicked. <laughs> Look at her laugh. I hate this tattoo. She said she hates this tattoo. Again, the Lord is my shepherd, all I, that I need, or something like that. All there. Okay? Completely demonic from the pits of hell. The evidence is all there. He, I believe he didn't rape this girl. Again, did he maybe take advantage of her? Yeah, he probably did. I'm not going to take that away. He probably did take advantage of her. They did coke. They did all these drugs. Next thing you know, he, he jumps on her, um, you know, maybe she didn't want it. Now, you know, now he basically lost his job to this psychotic, satanic person. And it's very sad. This woman needs prayers. Uh, but there it is, folks. Completely wicked. I uh, replied to the WWE, uh, of course. Can you fire all of those uh, all those who sold out to Satan like your boss, Vince McMahon, and writers, Hell, most of your staff, WWE is a satanic people. Enzo Amore is a small picture of what goes on in that wicked company. That's the reality. Um, folks, this is the system. So again, this man now lost his job by a woman basically lying, okay, manipulating. She put herself in the situation. So that Enzo, um, I, I have... I mean, what can you do? What can you do? These people are demonic. And that's what you get, folks. You see, we got to stop this, um, you know, this fornicating, uh, get, having sex without being married. You need to get married, folks. Again, this can happen to anybody. A guy hooking up with the wrong girl. Now with all these uh, movements, uh, you know, Me Too movements and stuff. This, this, this could jack your life up. Lives are ruined. If he would have waited to get married... Could, would he be in this uh, predicament? No. And it's all demonic anyway. It's all part of the system. You know, this, uh, it's all rhetoric, folks. Now, when we look at another, because this is the year of the uh, Me Too movement, Time's Up movement, all part of the agenda to, to make people upset. Uh, men can't talk to women, all this stuff, right? It's all part of the agenda. There was that, well, the Olympic girls that got molested by their doctor. Let me read you this. He just got sentenced. He looked me in the eyes the entire time. Allie Raisman, 
reveals she was physically sick and almost passed out after facing off with the pedophile doctor Larry Nassar in court, which he got a hundred and seventy-five years. So she's in court with this monster. Now this guy deserves everything and more that he got going to jail for 175 years. Okay, so you have all these things where these girls got molested, uh, you know, when he would do his, uh, you know, um, whatever therapies to him, helping them and everything like that. Um, but ultimately, folks, this is part of the story again. Why is it that, and this all began, I've talked about this, it all began with Trump, right? Trump, I can grab their, you know what, he's a womanizer. We heard that right at the end of last year. Then you had the Weinsteins, okay? Then you had all the other ones uh, coming about. You had this guy, okay? Now you have Enzo Amore, okay? All part of the agenda. Of course, to perform in the Olympics, you are part of the occult ceremonies. No doubt about it. I've covered it. When I look at this girl performing here, right? You see her doing the satanic El Diablo hand signs, right? All part of the satanic agenda. Now this woman here, after she she's crying, she's right there, Daily Mail, went on TV, all this stuff. Okay, I believe she was molested. I believe she's pro probably part of the MK Ultra programming. The next story on Daily Mail, the same day, folks, you can't make this stuff up. You can't make it up. Gymnast Ali Raisman poses in lingerie for stunning untouched shot as she makes her debut as body positive role model. So in other words, the girl gets raped supposedly, but now she's showing off herself in her underwear. Okay, if this doesn't show you the double standards of this world, I don't know what to tell you. And there she is. Oh yeah, she's she's such a role model. When she should be covering up, she should be making videos saying, "Hey girls, listen. Uh, if something happens to you, talk about it. Cover yourself up." As the Bible says, women need to dress modestly, not to do the opposite. Again, completely uh, part of the demonic agenda, just like the satanic Olympics, folks. You can't make this stuff up. Of course, we have, again, Oprah Winfrey, Reese Witherspoon, and they were on the Vanity Annual you know, Hollywood um, you know, issue of Vanity Fair. And here you have the women, okay, all this stuff. And notice here how they made her with three legs. What is up with that? Again, because we live in an illusioned world, folks. They even do this crap on purpose so people talk about it. Here she has the three legs. One, there's one behind there and another, folks. Okay? Um, again, everybody's talking about this, this physician that attacked her. Let me, let me tell you one more thing, folks. Where were the parents? Okay, you're talking over over a hundred and something girls. You're telling me not one girl said something, okay? And if they did, why didn't the parents really go after it? You have the Olympic Committee. You have, um, you have the, uh, you know, the the doctors' boards. Okay, nobody in the last how many years he's been doing this, um, oust them out all of a sudden with Trump and Weinstein and all these men now coming out they're finally getting this guy I, I I find that really really hard to believe okay okay and then knowing that again that the the system is satanic okay she this guy is not the only pedophile in the rings okay come on how many people have watched the Olympics they go man those girls you know, uh, you know, they're probably by themselves with these people. I wonder if they're being, you know, someone's touching them, who's who's doing something to them. I've thought of it years ago. What What's really going on? And now we have all this. Folks, there's more to this story than meets the eye, and it's part of the satanic agenda, folks. No doubt about it. And these photo shoots and all this stuff is just fake and rigged. So there you have it, folks. My take on the whole thing. There's something more to this story. He's not the only pedophile. We know that. All these people are connected some way to the occult and the satanic dark forces. We need to pray for these victims. We need to pray for this woman. Again, who does that? 
gets molested, and next thing you know, she's in her underwear. Again, this shows you the hypocrisy of the Illuminati and the Satanic Order. We need to pray for her. I pray for all the women that have been abused um, from these monsters. Um, of course, exposing the Enzo Amore case. Again, that girl, uh, you know, Philomena, she has mental issues. She's demonically possessed. We need to pray for her. We need to break away from the satanic world, turn off the Olympics, turn off all this crap, and get into the loving arms of God. Please say this prayer right now. Get born again, get saved, and become one with the Most High. Uh, we truly are living in the end times. Dear Lord Jesus, I know I have sinned against you. I, I come to you today and ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. Guide me and my life and help me to do your will. In the holy name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Amen. Thank you so much. So that's what this is about, folks. Getting closer to God. Getting one with God. I pray for those victims. I pray, uh, again, that people see the reality of this world. That, again, it's... It's to me, it's mockery of, of true women that really went through horrific stuff. And it's just showing, oh, yeah, go ahead, go on your underwear, go on this and that. And, and it's just disgusting. And, um, you know, women need to be, uh, you know, very modest. And so there you go, folks. I pray for all the victims. I pray for those that have went through, uh, you know, trauma. We need to pray for Philomena and all these women and these gymnasts and stuff like that. That these men that have done this, and there's even women rapists out there as well. Don't count them out. Uh, that they get exposed, they get busted, and they go to jail as well. But you know what? The, the system's so corrupt. I mean, heck, look at Weinstein. He's still walking around. Nothing, nothing happened to him, right? I believe that that uh, you know that doctor was a, a scapegoat. There's a lot more going on. There's there's um, the trainers in there. There's a couple of other doctors they knew as well. Where were those doctors? They all need to be exposed. Okay, and um, you know I'll continue on doing videos if more stuff comes about. Again, thank you so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. Truth never sleeps. We'll be back. Uh, Thursday, I pray. I'll be on there. Thank you again so much. May God bless you. May God bless your family. May God show you his infinite power, glory, and wisdom. Thank you and take care, everybody. God bless.